Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're gonna take a drive down to Tikbawa to buy some dried fish. I don't know if you are familiar with this kind of fish, but if you live here and you have a Filipino partner, you uh, probably know about it. It is quite smelly, especially when you cook it. And uh, I know that many expat doesn't allow their wives or girlfriends to cook it inside the house. And I can understand them, the smell is pretty bad. However, as with many food that uh, smells bad, the taste isn't that bad. I've had it a few times and uh, it is okay, unless it is too salty. Last time I had it, it was very salty and uh, yeah, I really prefer my fish to be fresh instead of this uh, dry thing. But the girlfriend likes it really much, so uh, oh, we have the garbage truck here. Uh, well, the girlfriend likes it a lot, and uh, who am I to deny her this treat? She, uh, it's not that expensive either, so uh, let's go. So why go all the way down to Tikbawan to get some dried fish, you might wonder. Well, we drove past this uh, place a few times before, and uh, once we stopped and uh, she bought some fish. And she said it was of uh, really good quality, fresh and yeah, good quality. I don't know, for me it looks the same as everything else, but uh, if she says it's good, I guess it's good. And uh, since we don't do that much during the days and I enjoy a little drive, we can drive down there to buy this fish. It doesn't uh, matter to me. So this is what we're gonna do today. So, as I have mentioned before, going to the right here on this street is taking you to uh, Savannah Main Gate and uh, then Manduria and eventually uh, Iloilo City. And we take a left today, uh, that is towards San Miguel. But before we get to San Miguel, we're gonna take a left to go down to our town. We have uh, driven this road before, so uh, for many of you, it might be uh, familiar. It's a very nice weather for a drive today. Lots of clouds, but the clouds doesn't seem to carry any water that they want to get rid of. So I hope we're gonna do this trip without getting wet. It's the best kind of weather to do driving. It's not too hot and it's not raining. This video is shot just before New Year's Eve. It is done on the Friday before uh, New Year's so the school here to the left has closed because they are on leave for the holidays so a little bit less traffic this time than it was uh, when we were out driving before uh, Christmas so here we're coming up to the intersection to the right we go to Santa Barbara we did that not a uh, long time ago checking out if the road was uh, done yet you can see it has opened up there now Going straight, you go to San Miguel, and we're gonna take a left to go down to Oton. As far as I understand it, that uh, once upon a time, to the right here, there was an LTO office. I don't think it is used anymore, because it looks abandoned to me. The LTO is the Land and Transportation Office. They are in charge of your driver's license and your registration and your yearly uh, inspection of your uh, motorcycle, or car for that matter. Here in the Philippines, I have to re-register my motorbike every year and have it uh, inspected. Uh, I know that uh, if you buy a bigger bike, uh, you will have a grace period of uh, three years. And I remember something about reading that they have changed that even for me. If I would buy my bike this year, I would uh, also have a three years grace period before I have to uh, re-register. But as it is now, I have to uh, do it every year. 
and uh, you can do that at many different places. You have something called a uh, emission uh, center. You have your emissions checked and uh, some of that. And then you have to go to the LTO and uh, provide your paperwork and your insurance and then you get a uh, new registration. Not that hard, but it takes some time. LTO is also responsible to get you your uh, registration plate. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, on to my second year soon and I haven't seen any registration plate yet. And I've heard many people say that it goes years and years and years and they never see any plates. So that's a problem here in the Philippines. It's a problem, it, it works without it, but uh, yeah, it's a bit strange for me coming from Sweden where you have your plates on your, your new plates on your car or a motorbike uh, when you pick it up at the dealership. But uh, well, that's not how we do it here in the Philippines. The latest I've read about uh, LTO is that they're once again running out of plastic to do the driver's license. I can't understand how hard it can be to order enough plastic, but uh, they ran out last year and apparently they are about to do it this year as well. It's actually not a big deal, you can get a printout on paper for your driver's license or you can actually uh, show them your uh, digital version that is available on your LTO portal. They actually have a portal nowadays where you can see your driver's license, you can apply for a new one, you can do your driver's license test. and. Um, stuff like that so if you don't uh, have that uh, portal yet make sure you register it because I think they want you to have it before you can uh, re-register your motorbike Here we're coming up to the bridge that has been under construction since we got here about two years ago. Uh, they have uh, done a little bit of fixing here, but uh, I guess this is as uh, good as it is going to be here. It doesn't seem like they're going to replace the whole bridge or do anything like that. They just put a bridge on top of the other bridge and now they have done some uh, new pave paving there. So I guess that is what we get here. Except for that bridge, this road is pretty nice all the way down to uh, Otan from uh, the intersection up there. There is some a uh, little bit rougher sections, but mostly it is uh, really nice.
last time we were driving we talked about this intersection here when we're going back we're actually going to go uh, left there or right from the other way uh, since i have never driven that road i am not sure where it ends up i think i know but uh, let's check it out on the way home You really have to keep an eye out for these big trucks when they're coming. They are just passing the tricycles and stuff by entering your lane. And if you're not paying attention, you might end up with a frontal collision with them. And that will not end good for you if you're on a bike. So here we are, welcome to Otan. Uh, it was just a few videos back, we were here last. We were picking up some uh, plants at the plaza that the lady of the house had bought. So some of you might recognize this from back then. Although that time we were traveling in the other direction on this road. But uh, yeah, we've been here before. This time we're gonna go down to the intersection and we're gonna take a right towards Stig Bauern. Just checking, see if we can do some sneaky sneaky driving here. Have to be careful because the backseat driver doesn't like that. go sneaky sneaky it looks tighter than it is actually the camera is uh, kind of uh, lying a bit so here we're on the main road if you go to the left you go down to city proper Filuilo, and this way we go to Tigbawan we're following the coastline the beach is to the left from here
along this road going to Tigbawan. I wouldn't mind to uh, rent a nice place close to the beach. Uh, it is uh, close enough to go to Iluilo and uh, yeah, it's a nice environment I think. And uh, the beach is always nice to be close to. Although everything I've seen is way too expensive. It is too close to Iluilo I guess to uh, have a find a place that fits my uh, budget, but uh, one can always dream, huh? A large pure gold supermarket here to the right. Along this road on the left, there is a lot of resorts. Uh, we haven't checked out that many of them and uh, we will probably do it uh, in due time. Uh, there is also a lot of new construction going on. You can't quite see it here on the video, but to the left here there is uh, construction going on for some new resorts. So uh, there's a lot happening in here. I've also heard about uh, doing uh, some kind of uh, boardwalk or uh, some kind of esplanade along the sea here. So we will see in the coming year what's happening here. As I said when we started this drive, the weather today is excellent for driving. Large clouds that is blocking the sun from uh, burning us to a crisp. Every time we come down here this way, especially if we're just going to buy the fish, I'm a little bit surprised about the distance it is from Oton to uh, Tigbawa. It feels much closer when you think about it, but when you're actually driving, it is quite far actually. There is some really nice houses along this road. I can imagine they are pretty expensive if you want to buy one or even rent them if that is possible. As I said before, I've been checking this area out and uh, every time I see a rental it is very low uh, standard or very expensive. So uh, there is no, I haven't found anything that is uh, suiting me yet, but 
we will see in the future perhaps. Here we have again the disappearing right lane. It just ends in some trees here. Then it continues again. So once again the right lane is ending and coming up to a bridge, although the bridge is actually four lanes, so I did some extra strange actually. So what's going on with this car here? It's going no, it's backing back in. It's French. But another reminder that traffic here isn't what you used to work from back home. So now we're getting here. It's just up here to the left. There is a couple of different shops here, but according to the lady of the house, this one is the best. So here we are. Let's see what they have. I'm not quite sure what all this stuff is, but she seems to know her way around it. She bought quite a few items to bring back home, so I guess my kitchen will smell yummy tonight. Have you guys tried it? Please let me know in the comments what you thought about it in that case, or if you are looking forward to trying it in the future. So, all right fish bought, time to get back home.
And as I said, when we were driving down, we're gonna take a slightly different road home. There is an intersection just above our town. We have never tried to go on any of the other directions. So today we're gonna go right when we got to that intersection. I think it will gonna take us to uh, the circumferential road. So we will end up at uh, Vista Mall eventually, but uh, we will see. So stay tuned. So to get better about uh, dried fish, it has a quite a strong smell even when it's not uh, cooked, when it's just uh, dried. It was not too bad there because it was windy and all, but when you are walking around in the markets you can uh, smell where the section is with the dried fish. Oh, here we have a mobile rice mill. Uh, so yeah, the, but I would say that smell I can take, but uh, when they're cooking it, it is... Uh, much stronger. She has been cooking it inside, but uh, even she says that uh, next morning when we come down from the bedroom, it still smells like uh, dried fish in the house. So uh, she's gonna start cooking it outside. So it, it's not me that's complaining that much, but uh, you get used to the smell when you feel it. But when they start cooking it, it is uh, pretty horrid actually. In Sweden we have the self-storming, the ferment, uh, the Baltic herring, I think you call it in English. Uh, talking about putrid smell, oh my god, that is making people puke. There's a lot of videos about uh, the self-storming in uh, YouTube. The people there are opening the can and uh, yeah, it is not a nice sight. But most of the people there are just trying to eat it as it is, right out from the can. Actually, you're supposed to have some condiments to it as well as uh, onions and uh, bread and somebody had used potatoes. My dad likes it. I don't like it at all. Uh, but even there, the smell is way worse than the taste, especially if you're eating it directly out of the can. So I guess uh, the fermented Baltic herring is uh, the Swedish type of dried fish. If anybody has tried a Swedish delicacy, please let me know in the comments. So to try to tie into some of the older videos where we talked about being uh, retired here in the Philippines. What you do with your time when uh, the days are filled with uh, nothing. This is one of the things we do. We jump on our bike and uh, go some distance to buy, in this case, dried fish. That's why we go to uh, Leganes to buy our produce, because we like that market, for example. Uh, this trip takes about an hour in total, and uh, that is one hour we were out and uh, breathing fresh air, as long as there is no jeepneys uh, pestering the air. And uh, I like to be out. It is hot usually, but when you're driving, you have the wind, and uh, in this case, we have a cloudy day. It's a, it's a nice experience just to be out and uh, driving around. And as I have mentioned before, it is hard when you are driving, at least for me. I'm concentrating a lot on the traffic and on the eventual potholes and uh, stuff I had to watch out. So even though we have driven this road many times before, I always see something new I haven't noticed before because I have been so concentrated on traffic or potholes or something like that. We have an open side beer truck. Just the other day there was an accident uh, just uh, outside Il Rila, I think, where a truck took a corner a little bit too uh, quickly and uh, dropped a lot of beer on the road. Uh, now it was in Bacala, actually. It was in Bacala. It was a river of beer, they said. So we are uh, halfway into uh, January now and uh, there are still 
a lot of talk about the jeepney or the phase out of the old jeepneys and uh, introducing the modernized jeepneys. There are complaints everywhere and uh, people are saying that uh, this is not good and uh, people can't afford it. And at the same time, somebody uh, suggested that they wanted to uh, raise the fare for uh, modernized jeepneys to 50 pesos a, a ride. That, uh, I don't understand how that would be possible because people can't afford that kind of money. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not uh, sure. It's hard to keep track of uh, everything is happening in this uh, discussion about the jeepneys. There is some kind of uh, constellation about uh, four large jeepney consortiums or something that was tried to uh, overturn this decision and. Uh, the next day I read that uh, they're going to do a hard checks on the jeepneys from the 1st of February to make sure that no old jeepneys are driving that shouldn't be. So uh, I don't know, I can't really, really keep track, but uh, as I said before, I like the old jeepneys. I would rather see them to uh, help them to get better engines that doesn't pollute as much and keep the old ones, but uh, that's just me. Here we have a large tree, almost in the middle of the right lane. At least I put some yellow tape on it. Oh no, there's a couple of clouds that are a little bit darker up ahead. Let's hope we can get home dry. Here we are, back in O-Town. Here we have the Pure Gold supermarket again. Wide load, is it just a box? Or just a box? Must be a nice wind catch if you drive too fast or if it's windy. Here we have the ice cream man to the right, selling dirty ice cream. I'm not sure why they call it dirty ice cream, there is nothing wrong with it, but that's what they call it.
Here we are, back at the intersection. We're gonna take a left here towards uh, San Miguel, the airport, and uh, Savannah subdivision. Here we have the town fire station to the left. As I said on the drive down to Oton, today we're gonna try another road back home to see where it takes us. So we're gonna take a right up here. Uh, I'm so suspecting this road is gonna connect towards uh, the Iluilu Circumferential Road number one, but uh, I'm not sure. So let's take a right here and see. This is another thing you can do to make your days go by, to try some new roads. You never know where you will end up, but you will see.
that cloud to the right is really dark, but uh, I think we will make it. So far, it isn't that much to see on this road. It's mostly farmland. I'm guessing in the future there will be more subdivisions and stuff here. They are building like crazy here. So, there's a new house going up to the left. It's a straight road, that is for sure. Not that usual to see that here in the Philippines. Not as far as I know anyway. But even here, even though it seems to be in the middle of nowhere, there are always some sorry sorry stores where you can stop and buy some snacks or drinks. New gas station coming up. They really like their gas stations here. Oh, here's another intersection. I wonder where you go if you go left here, but that we have to check out another day. Some restaurants here, Steam and Grill to the right, something else here to the left. Didn't see any sign. There are some restaurants going on here.
Oh, I see a road coming up with some traffic on. Let's see if I'm right in my uh, guesses where we will end up. Yes, indeed. This is the circumferential road. We're gonna take a left here to go up to uh, Vistamont and uh, that entrance to our subdivision. If you go to the right, you go down towards Oton again. You can also go down there and take a left and uh, go into city proper. This truck has a big exhaust in the middle back, right in the face height of us. So let's get past this one. Everybody is in a hurry today. It's another one even more in a rush. Here's the new Sea Oil gas station. It's open for business now. It's actually a Japanese restaurant here to the right. We have never tried it out, but I think we're gonna go there someday and uh, check it out. I checked out their online reviews. They were mixed. Some were really, really good and some were not that good at all. So I guess we will find out when we finally go there. Come up is Vista Mall, straight ahead. So we're gonna take a left here to go into our subdivision. So I think this is a good place to end this video. By the way, we can see here to the right, they have started excavation for uh, the part of the subdivision. It's gonna call it Augusta, I think. They have been digging there and put some mound of soil there, but uh, haven't happened that much yet. We will see in the upcoming months, I'm guessing. So I want to say thank you for everybody that watching. I hope you find it enjoyable and uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Bye for now.